What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. How early did Jenna Ortega have to get up every morning? Did the cast do their own stunts? Which actor had to be hidden inside a box for a major movie scene? We have to start with all the contorted positions Victor Dorobanto had to be in while shooting the scenes for Thing. You might not know that Victor was part of Wednesday's cast, but that's not true. Tim Burton didn't want to make Thing a CGI character, so they hired a magician who would perfectly transfer all of Thing's emotions on the big screen. But how did they film the scene where Thing got stabbed? Well, for this, they had to place him right below the table, and every time Uncle Fester electrocuted him, Victor was the one moving his hand up and down. He spent the majority of the filming either crawling on the floor or hidden inside a wooden box that they build just for one scene. However difficult that might have seemed, it was nothing compared to Victor's work. He managed to portray human emotions using nothing but his hands. For some of the scenes where Thing is standing on Jenna's shoulder, either Victor had to follow her around everywhere she went, or another guy had to hold a black ball by her shoulder. It took them a long time to edit all of this out, but the end result was more than worth it. Hey, I can't fit under a bed. Let's make a hole in the floor. Hey, I can't fit under the floor. Let's raise the whole building in the air so put him under the floor. Filming the scenes for Wednesday, Jenna Ortega didn't have it easy either. The young actress had to straighten her posture and had to stop blinking during the filming of Wednesday, and the no blinking rule was a complete accident. While filming the show, Jenna decided to not blink on camera for the entire day. The director, Tim Burton, saw this and he loved it so much that he decided to turn it into a rule. So if you look at Wednesday on the show, you'll notice that she never blinks. It has become an important character trait of hers. At first, it was difficult to stop blinking because, well, everyone blinks. But then after a few weeks, she got the hang of it. We also talked about her posture. And for the show, she tried to move her arms as little as possible. Because after all, Wednesday is not very energetic. I didn't move my hands or arms much if I didn't have to. At some point during the first couple weeks of shooting, I did a take where I did not blink at all. Another interesting unwritten rule was that the actors had to eat on set. No one really forced them to do this. However, they had a very busy schedule. On a normal day, they would spend about 12 hours on the set and this left them practically no free time to eat. They would usually grab a bite to eat in between scenes. So seeing your co-stars munching on a sandwich while smashing that like button, just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, they were eating sandwiches and snacks while waiting for their turn to film. And this wasn't uncommon. I owe you the thank you. We're getting that Benson title next year. So don't let killing one supernatural pilgrim get to your head. Speaking of busy schedules, Jenna Ortega had to follow a pretty strict routine every single day. In one video, she shared her daily routine for the seven months they were filming the show. Her daily schedule for the days she was shooting would go something like this. She would wake up at 4.30 in the morning. She would have less than an hour to get ready before they picked her up and drove her to the set at 5.20. At 6 a.m., she would dress up, and at 6.30, she would spend about an hour and a half in the makeup chair. From 8 to 8.30, they were blocking, where the actors would be told where to stand and how to move on a particular set. And at 8.30, they would start filming. After a 12-hour day of shooting scenes and eating in between takes, she would then spend her afternoon at stunt rehearsal for about an hour. After that, she would go to her cello lessons and she would go home at 8. Every day, she would do the same boring thing, but we suppose it was all worth it in the end, don't you think? I'd wake up around 4.30. I'd be picked up around 5.20-ish. So I get dressed, then I go to hair and makeup. And it wasn't just Jenna who had to practice her stunt work. All the other actors had to perform their own stunts. Sure, they had body doubles, but the young actors wanted the show to be authentic. Remember that scene where Wednesday was pushed up against the tree by one of her friends? Well, Jenna Ortega was pulled against the giant tree and then thrown on the floor. And this is just a small part of everything they had to do on set. I think you've got it backwards. <laughs> For example, on the show, Jenna had to learn everything her character was doing. We already told you that Jenna took fencing lessons and practiced her stunts after shooting a 12-hour day. She also took up archery. She learned to ride a canoe and even learned to play the cello for her roles. As we previously stated, the actress took cello lessons for about one hour after a 12-hour day of shooting, just so she could hone her skills. They filmed Wednesday in Romania from September 2021 until March 2022. And if you want to know anything about Romania, it's that it gets really cold during the winter time. Given that a huge chunk of the show is filmed outside, it's not hard to deduce that the actors were freezing to death while filming the show. Is this a date? It's a surprise. 
And if that wasn't enough, at one point, after waiting for the sunrise the entire night, the cast decided to smash that subscribe button, just like you should do if you haven't already. But no, seriously now, they decided it would be fun to jump in the hotel pool. The water was freezing cold, but at least they have this cool photo to remember it by. We just hope it was worth it, guys. Stayed up until the sunrise and jumped in the hotel pool, and it was like ice cold. Jenna had to pay special attention to her mannerisms and facial expressions. For every scene, they tried three different takes. First, they tried the flat version with an expressionless voice that borders on intimacy, something you would find in silent movies. Then they would try a second version of the same scene, but this time the actress would add some vocal inflection to her lines. And then for the third take, she would try the exact same scene with emotional expression. They would go through several drafts, and all of that trial and error is what led them to create such an iconic, dark, but still relatable and funny character. My very first stalker. Maybe this forced vacation will be more interesting than I imagined. Also, Jenna Ortega got really close to Tim Burton and asked him to tell her whenever she was quote unquote awful on the set. Now, we should point out that the actress did admit Burton never told her you're awful to her face. He was too nice for that. Instead, he tried to find ways of telling Jenna she could do better. It's really exciting for me because I felt like that really encouraged mannerisms or kind of balanced aspects of surrealism and realism in the film. Because Tim Burton was dead set on creating a unique Wednesday that reminded you of the iconic character but didn't copy at any of the previous portrayals that came before Jenna Ortega. For this, the young actress had to go to Tim Burton's studio in London and they spent a lot of time trying to decide what Wednesday's hair should look like. First they went with silver streaks, and then they went with very long and thick braids. Then they tried really short, tiny braids, but nothing seemed to work. And he has framed Xavier. He confessed everything to me. I wish I could believe you. At one point, the hairdresser Paul brought a fringe and put it on Jenna. Tim Burton liked it a lot, but something seemed a little off. It didn't look natural to him. Being fully dedicated to this role, Jenna asked the hairdresser to cure her actual hair so it would look natural during filming. She then was hesitant at first, but they did it in the end, and Tim Burton loved it. This gave the character her own peculiarity and made her unique yet similar to the past versions of Wednesday. Also, because they were shooting the show in Romania during the winter time, the actress lost all of her natural skin color. We just tried all different variations, and at some point, the hairdresser that we were working with, Paul, he brought out a, a clip of fringe. At first, they would try to cover her entire body in pale white makeup, but after the third month, Jenna looked so pale that they just stopped with the makeup. The actress even joked that she lost all melanin during the shoot. See you in the next video.